Hello, Kite and Rising Stars and Angel Angelfish. Did you, Angel Angelfish, see Birdie repping her angel swag there? She was showing off her angel shirt. She's feeling so proud. Uh, two days in a row, she's got a different angel shirt on the last two days. So she must be missing you. And Kaiden, I am missing you. It's been so long. Um, oh, I put my ukulele down and we have another song to sing. Uh, let's sing the, the ABC hand washing song today too. Let's sing that. If you haven't washed your hands in a while, we'll wait till you go over to the sink and get them cleaned up and we'll sing with you while you wash your hands. background she was practicing good hand washing she washed the tops of her hands and the bottoms of her hands and she was getting all in between and maybe her fingertips too and she was rubbing them all together just like the song that we sang for the last couple of weeks you've got to remember to get those hands nice and sudsy and soapy clean no running them under the water right away get lots and lots of suds on those um, hopefully you are doing that lots of times a day so that you stay clean and healthy and you're not touching your face and you're not putting your hands in your mouth because we want to make sure that you stay clean and healthy so that we can see you at school. Um, but I said, gosh, it's been a long time since I've seen you. Let's take a look at the calendar and see. Today, yesterday was the 30th, so we've got to move things over. I don't have a place to put tomorrow's card. Huh. What does that mean? It's the if, last day of March. Did you hear Birdie? She's so smart. It's the last day of March. Think for just a minute. Let's let everybody at home think. What month comes after March? Hmm. The year starts with January and then it goes to February. We're in March now. Did you think of April? If you thought of April, you're right. Tomorrow is the first day of April, April Fool's Day. Sometimes people pay, play jokes on April Fool's Day. I'll have to think of a joke. But right now, today is... One time when I was at Girl Scout camp, mm -hmm. um, one of my friends um, gave my friend a cracker of toothpaste. <gasps> Did you hear that? Birdie said one time one of her friends at Girl Scout camp gave her friends a cracker with toothpaste on it. That is a funny joke. Uh, but today it is Tuesday. March 31st, 2020. You have to think about what kind of a trick you might play tomorrow on April Fool's Day. And our calendar will look a little bit different because instead of saying March up here, it will say April. But gosh, the last time I saw you was way back here on March 12th. Can we count how many days it's been? I am missing you something fierce. Let's count them up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen days since I've seen you. No wonder I miss you so much. I hope you miss me too. But I actually, I hope you're having. A, I hope you're doing good things with your family. Miss you, Angel. Did you see Birdie's sad face? She misses Angel too. Um, it's hard to be without our friends, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hard. I'm gonna call my teacher tomorrow. You're gonna call your teacher? Oh, that's so nice. Um, all right. So I have a question of the day. Since we've been missing each other so much, I thought this was a good question because I'll bet your answers are different today than they would have been 20 days ago. Here's my question. Where do you like to go? Do you like to go to your house or do you like to go to school? I'm gonna let you think about that one for a minute. Like I said, I think your answer might be a little bit different today. Do you like to go to your house or school? What do you think, Birdie? House or school? Okay, so I, if it wasn't this coronavirus thing, I would definitely choose school, but I don't wanna 
to go out of the house, so I have to choose home. All right, Birdie's picking home because she wants to stay home and stay safe because of coronavirus. I'm telling you, I love my house. And normally I would have said my house, but I am so tired of my house. I would pick school right now because I want to go see something different. And I'm worried about what's going on with things in my classroom. Um, I think our plants have probably died by now or they're close to it. Hmm. Um, there's some bird seed that I put in a container in my classroom that I hope we don't have mice feasting on. I know there's some things I'm worried about. So I might make a phone call to school today to check on some of those things too. Um, please keep an eye on the DetroitK12.org uh, forward slash uh, COVID. Um, but if you go to DetroitK12.org, you'll see Dr. Vitti's announcement page. Because things are changing so much, um, I anticipate that there will be some new information there. Um, within the next day or so. So um, lots of information there for Detroit families about when food is being um, delivered, where food is being delivered, um, what might be happening as far as online learnings and where you can pick up packets for your kids if you want to do something other than just watch me, which you should be. Um, but there's lots of information there. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and I would say keep an eye out on the news because Governor Whitmer, man, things are changing every day. And she plans in the next couple of days to let us know when we might be going back to school. Spoiler alert, I think it might not be until September. I think we might be home until September, Birdie. Yeah. Um, I had a book picked out for today, but Birdie said she had a better one. So I'm going to zoom in on Birdie. And Birdie will use a nice loud voice to read. Um, so that we can hear you better. Okay, this book is, uh, I will never, not ever eat a tomato. So this is Charlie and Lola. If you ever read one of these books, they're really good. This is my little sister, Lola. She's very small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad ask me to give Lola her dinner. This is difficult because she is a very fussy eater. Bertie, were you a fussy eater when you were little? Yes. Kind of. Kind of. foods is a lot of foods not to like. That is a large number. Birdie, do you know what the rule is in my classroom? We have snack in my classroom every so often. The rule is you, you have fruit to... Fruit or vegetable. It's a fruit or a vegetable, but it's our cafeteria uh, brings it to us. And the rule is you have to take a no thank you bite. You don't have to eat the whole portion. You don't have to like it, but you have to at least take a no thank you bite. And we've eaten a lot of interesting things that people like. Once you try it, sometimes, sometimes we just kiss it and we throw it away. If we just can't eat it, we kiss it and we throw it away. And then the next time we might lick it and then throw it away. But then we're at least trying it. So. And I said, that is lucky because we are not having. 
be any of the, those things. We are not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. There will be no cauliflower, cabbage, or baked beans or bananas or oranges. We definitely will not have apples or rice or cheese or fish sticks and certainly no potatoes. How's he going to feed her if she's not feeding her any of those things? What's the trick going to be? Hmm. I feel like this maybe should have been an April Fool's Day book. Might be a good trick for April Fool's Day. Go ahead. Lola looked at the table. The why are there carrots? Carrots there, Charlie. I don't ever eat carrots. Those look like carrots to me. They're really from Jupiter? Yeah. No, I think he's tricking her. Oh, there's, I don't know if you can see it, but that's Earth right there. There you go. Okay. Earth is a blue planet. So is Neptune and Uranium. Uranus? Right here. Oh, I can. I don't know if they'll be able to see it in the video because there's a little bit of a glare, but sure enough, there's a tiny little pea there. Oh, goody, I said. I'll have to share green droplets. are so incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh. Lola. Quite tasty. I tricked her into eating peas now. Little green droplets. This is the big one. Next, Lola saw the potato. I will not eat potato. So don't even try. Not even mashed. Who doesn't love potatoes? Come on, what is wrong with Lola? I don't know. I love potatoes. Oh, this isn't mashed potato. People often think that, but no. This is cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mountain Fuji. Oh, said Lola. In that case, a large helping for me. I love to eat cloud. Cloud How fluff? Do How do you eat cloud? I don't know. Charlie, she said, those look like fish sticks to me. And I would never eat a fish stick. Mmm. I haven't had a fish stick in a long time. I used to love fish sticks. Do you like fish sticks, Birdie? They're okay. I like French toast sticks. Oh, yeah. I know that. These are not fish sticks. These are ocean 
Mariner boats from the supermarket under the sea. Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I went to that supermarket one time with Mom. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've had them before, Lola said, gladly. Are there any more? Mmm, she gobbled them oh. up. Lola seems like she's not being very honest about things either because every time he says something, she says, oh yes, I've had that before. I've eaten Cloud before. I've eaten from the mermaid store before. She doesn't seem very honest. And then she said, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I said, what? What are those? What's it going to be? Hmm. Look at how big that table is. It is a big table. I don't have a table that big at my house. I got a new table yesterday. I know. Yesterday? And not yesterday. So, two days ago. Three days ago. And Lola said, yes, Charlie, one of those. And I couldn't believe my eyes. Because guess what she was pointing at? The tomatoes. What? She would never, and ever, not ever sure eat a tomato. One of these? He's keeping them all to himself. Do you see how he's got them in a bowl? Mine, 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 all mine. And she said, yes, of course. Moon squatters are my favorite. What are they called? Moon squatters. Moon squatters? Hmm. And they're her favorite. You didn't think they were tomatoes. Did you, Charlie? Oh, now she's in on it. Yes, there are all the foods. There's food squatters, cloud fluff, green ocean nibbles, green drops, and orange twiglets. Excellent. All very, uh, all very healthy foods. All very healthy foods. Well couple of good things about that book, I think. I'm trying to zoom you back out. A couple of good things about that book. She tried lots of new foods. That was good. They got to be together. That was good. All of those foods were healthy. But what? She was not being honest because I guess she likes those foods. Maybe she was just being sassy and she wasn't going to eat them because she was just being oppositional. That wasn't being very... She wanted what? Dessert first. Dessert first. Um, I like dessert first days sometimes. We don't have them very often, but sometimes we eat dessert first. Uh, but it is important to be kind when you're at home, as well as eat those healthy foods. So let's sing our song about being kind. If you're kind and you know it. If you're kind and you know it, share your toys. If you're kind and you know it, share your toys. If you're kind and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know it, share your toys. If you're kind and you know it, be polite. If you're kind and you know it, be polite. If you're kind and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know it, be polite. Birdie, you're getting the verses in the wrong order. We just sang the be polite verse. Now we're singing the I'm sorry verse. It's hard to sing on Zoom together because we have a delay. If you're kind and you know it, say I'm sorry. If you're kind and you know it, say I'm sorry. If you're kind and you know it, then your heart will surely show it. If you're kind and you know it, say I'm sorry. If you're kind and you know it, lend a hand. If you're kind and you know it, lend a hand. If you're kind and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know it, lend a hand. All right, the singing is a little bit tough for us. Birdie's got a couple of jokes for us, and then we're going to say goodbye this morning. All right, Bird, what are your jokes for us? This is the mother to the son. Son, what did you learn today in school? Son, not enough. I have to 
go back tomorrow. Oh, I wish I could go back to school tomorrow. All right, next joke. That makes me a little sad, Bertie. What's a snake's favorite subject in school? S science. Social his studies. What? History. Oh, history. That's also a good answer. I liked my answers too, though. But it did have a hiss in the history. Uh, all right. Well, Kaiden, and if anyone's watching from Angel, we love you. We miss you. Um, wash your hands. Eat something healthy. And be kind to one another. We'll see you tomorrow.